Hello everyone. So as you may have noticed with Blackboard Ultra, there's been a few changes. Uh, notably changed is the ability, the ability to actually look at grade distributions within Blackboard Ultra. You could do this in the old Blackboard, but the new one doesn't necessarily allow us to do it in the same way. So I've kind of uh, created a little workaround for it uh, using some of the formulas in Excel. And I just wanted to provide this to you all as a way of maybe creating your own distributions uh, so you can kind of put this into your faculty activity reports or uh, any other time you might need to provide a distribution of grading for your courses, you can do it with these formulas. Uh, so you'll note here that in the Excel file that I have up, this is from my uh, race class and crime course. I've removed all of the identifying information and I've only left one column, which is the overall grade. Uh, so you'll see the overall grades for this particular course. Uh, there's a total of 34 grades, and I want to basically find out how many students uh, got an A, B, C, D, so on and so forth. Uh, so in order to do this, it's pretty easy. Uh, you'll see that the first formula I have here is an if formula. And basically what this is doing is it's going to help categorize whether or not a particular grade falls within a particular bracketed score. Uh, in this way, I have it set up where it's basically capturing the grades. Uh, so you'll see 0 to 59, right? This would mean a student had failed, so on and so forth, all the way up to a 90 to 100, which would indicate an A. Uh, so basically, you're just going to take this formula. We'll copy it here. And we'll go to the cell here, B2. And we'll just simply paste the formula in. We'll hit Enter. And you'll see that basically what it'll do is just uh, determine whether or not this falls within the 90 to 100. Um, now there's other things I could do if I, if I really wanted to, uh, I guess I could probably change the zero to 59 and all of this to something else. Uh, so for instance, let's say you don't wanna have this 90 to 100. Uh, let's say that you want it to actually indicate A. Uh, so you could do A instead. Um, you could have it whatever whatever you want. So basically, this is really easy to change, and I'll I'll provide both to you. So if you want it to just show the actual letter grades, you can do that as well. Uh, so now that we've got at least that breakdown of the grades, we need to basically auto complete all the way down. So we'll just click and drag in the bottom right corner of Excel, drag all the way down, and we'll see that it will pick up the uh, the grade distribution for all of them, or at least the the bracketed for all of them. Now this is great, but what we really need to do is then calculate how many of each of these there are. Uh, and similarly, right, to what we had had previously, um, we have another count here. And we'll basically just copy and paste this count if. And basically what this is going to do is this is going to count uh, whether or not in column B certain criteria are met. So for instance, uh, this bottom one here, uh, count, and then it says BB, BB being the column right here, um, whether or not a particular score is, B, is 90 to 100. And if it is 90 to 100, it will count that. Uh, so we will just simply copy this, and it doesn't rather, really matter where you put it in here, but we'll just we'll put it here for ease. We'll paste this in. And you'll see that it's uh, basically calculated or counted up all of the grades. So if I wanted to, I can go through and put this in uh, basically the letter grades so I know which is which. Uh, as you can see, my, my grades for this race, class, and crime were heavily skewed towards A's and B's um, for this particular semester. Uh, so now we just have a basic grade distribution breakdown. You can use this uh, when you're completing your faculty activity reports. And again, um, Similarly here, if let's say we changed uh, this, this particular formula here, right, this particular if function uh, to be something different, for instance, if we had this as F, uh, we'll change this one over to D. Honestly, this is probably a better way to do it anyway. C for this one, uh, for that one, and then A here. We would also similarly change this down here in the formula so that we have the corresponding count function, uh, which is counting everything up for us. So honestly, I'll probably just send you this one. It'll probably be a bit easier. I don't have to worry about it as much. Uh, so let's try that again. We'll go back in, 
put A there, and we will kind of go all the way down. And we will change the function here now. Again. And again, we get the exact same here. Um, you know, it's up to you on kind of how you want to do it. Uh, again, you, you're probably going to need to put in an extra column here just with the letter grade breakdown or the grade breakdown. Uh, so you've got it. Uh, but yeah, so pretty quick and easy. If you have questions about it, just let me know. Uh, again, I will send a link. I've sent the link. Obviously, you're watching it now of a YouTube video, and I've provided the codes uh, or at least the kind of formulas in the email to you as well for you. To use. So hope this helps. Thanks.